Mayang adlaw mga amigo, my name is Moon if you're new to my channel and as you can see from the title of the video, this is my book review for the book Janu Silang at Ang Tiyanang Kuntabon by Edgar Calabia Summer. So this is actually a Filipino book written in Tagalog by Edgar Calabia Summer. This is actually the first book of the series in which it circulates around this character named Janus whose life essentially changed because of this video game named Tala. Horrible secrets were also revealed making everything chaotic and also this is a non-spoiler review so if you haven't read this book, you can watch this review. Also, I think this review will just be filled with me gushing about this book because it is actually one of my very few 5-star books on Goodreads. So let's start with the characters. I'm just going to focus on the main characters because if I'm going to say the characteristics of the side characters, I will spoil a lot of stuff. So the main character is named Janus and he's actually a very typical Filipino teenager. Teenager, which basically means that he is very addicted to video games, he is very fearful of his parents, and he has a libido somewhat. I genuinely liked him as a character because he is very real, he is very relatable, and he is an all-out complex character. I really like how the author wrote him as this kid with flaws and weaknesses instead of making him as this strong character just like what is found in The Hunger Games and Harry Potter. Also, the side characters are very real, relatable, and complex as well. However, I can't mention them or say anything about their personality because of the reason that I might spoil a lot of this book. And this is actually a non-spoiler review. The second part of this review is actually the writing style. The writing style for me personally is very complex because I can't absorb the sentences quickly. Like, sobrang nahirapan ako kasi ang deep ng Tagalog. Charot! There are actually times where I need to reread some parts of the story in order to make sense of it. The flow, however, is very smooth and I was able to follow the story even though I do find it difficult to read some of its words. The dialogues are also very realistic and the descriptions are very well enough for my imagination. The third one is the plot. The plot in its own genre of fantasy is actually really good. It indeed caters to its audience beautifully, aka the middle grade students and the young adults. It is not fast-paced and not at all repetitive. The plot is also smooth as well with a little twist in the ending. The fourth part of this review is the genre. As what I have mentioned earlier, the story is written in such a way in which it fits its genre perfectly. Honestly, I don't have anything to say about it anymore. And the last one is the ending. So the book is fantastic and I would really really recommend it to all the Filipinos around the world especially the middle grade students and the young adults because it is actually a really good fantasy book. It is written beautifully and incredibly underrated and I would really really recommend it to everyone. And as what I have mentioned earlier, this is actually one of my very few 5 star books in my Goodreads account. So yes, pick this up. So that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have opinions, please comment it down below and let's discuss. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! No, 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 no!